Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today I am reviewing my portfolio. I want to be honest as a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency investor with what my portfolio can achieve during the next stage of the bull market and how did it perform over the last stage of the bull market, the first part of the cycle, second part of the cycle, are there any adjustments I can make and hopefully you can learn something from a high level overview of what I am checking on the charts with uh, some of my major altcoins. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter down below, all the links are right down there. Plus there's a special on the Investor Accelerator Patreon group. Check that out, link is down below. Let's have a look at uh, the majors and some of the major altcoins. Now I'll make mention, I do have a few other majors here, but for the sake of the video, to make not, not to make it too long, I'll look at ADA, CRO and FTT. Uh, one that's been, been performing very well, one that hasn't been performing so well, and then the other is doing reasonably well. Uh, I also have other minor altcoins and other trades as well, which have done pretty good. You've possibly seen them on the channel or on Twitter. So, um, you know, stick around, follow those if you want to know more about that stuff. So the measures, I'm going to measure these cryptos against BTC, ETH and USD because the whole idea for my investing is I like to be conservative and I also want to reduce my time and stress and brain power going left, right and center to a whole different heap of cryptocurrencies because during a bull market, things go crazy. So if I can make things super simple for myself now, then the next stage is going to be easier uh, because we just know that there, there's people calling everything that should be going up in a bull market, which generally it does against USD value. But if it's not going up against Bitcoin and ETH, then I'm just literally wasting my time and my money. So... Uh, the things I'm going to look at here also are the 50% level. Is it holding strength into this next stage of the bull market? So if it's above the 50%, it's kind of similar to holding above a 20-week moving average. That's kind of the strength line. And is it holding that strength or is it below those levels? And I might show you some examples as well. You've probably seen them on the channel. Bitcoin dominance, that'll help us understand is Bitcoin about to take off or is all of the power switching over to the altcoins? So majors of Bitcoin, ETH, ETH BTC, major altcoins, ADA, so Cardano, CRO, Crypto.com, or FTT, which is FTX Exchange. So I've talked about all of these on the channel many times, uh, specific individual videos on these as well, uh, primarily ADA. Of course, you know, I've got the staking pool. You can find a link to that down below if you want to stake your ADA and earn some passive income. There's a full video tutorial down there as well. You can do that with your wallets. Anyone can stake ADA on that, or you can choose a different staking pool. doesn't matter. Just earn some interest on your Cardano. So they're the majors. And then I might look at these in future videos as well. Solana, Uni, also been doing reasonably well. Let's stick with these. Let's dive in to Bitcoin dominance to begin with. And then we can get across to ADA. So Bitcoin dominance, you can see it's off a double bottom, but it just hasn't had that push that I was expecting. Double bottoms, we should usually take out uh, pretty quickly from these lows and at least try and test 50%. So 50% is at about 56%. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we might get to the underside of the support level. So that underside's at around 52 to 53%. So that's why I've got a bit of a, a level between 50 and 53%. That's of the dominance, but this 50% is of the range. So that's that entire range there. Look, if it doesn't get up there, then we could be wrong and the market could just favor altcoins and just all the money goes into alts and not so much into Bitcoin. I don't think that's going to happen if we're going to be led out of a correction. I think Bitcoin will lead the correction. But again, I'm following this just in case I'm wrong on that. And my level is about 44% if this was to break down. Of course, that would be the major signal there. If it just took off uh, down and broke down through 40, 39.8% of the dominance, then we're probably uh, very wrong at that point and the market's just going to keep tanking. The Bitcoin dominance will tank. Money will flow pretty heavily into the top altcoins, which is right now Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, etc. So that's why we keep an eye on Bitcoin dominance just to give us an idea of where the market is heading to now, where the strength is. The majors, BTC, we've just hit 50%. So this is major range we've been following. That's the $47,000 level. I want to see this break above 50%, consolidate. 
I think if this is consolidating, then we might see some of the alts continue to to pump because this is a, a positive side uh, positive side for Bitcoin to be on, especially above these support levels. So this is resistance at the moment. Hopefully it can flip that and then that's going to be positive for the market. Uh, if we don't get there and this starts to dump, then I assume alts will also dump because they kind of play the same game as Bitcoin. If Bitcoin pumps pretty hard, then alts will also go up in their USD value, but probably dump in their Bitcoin value. So that's why I hold a lot of Bitcoin. ETH and ETH BTC. So this is just important to understand like the portfolio makeup and why. ETH USD, we'll look at that first. 31, uh, sorry, 3100 We've done extremely well. We've broken past our 50%. The week hasn't closed yet. And last week, you can see how important 50% levels are. They play with them so much. The market uses them as balancing points. And you can see the close was just under 50%. You know, if these things weren't real, why did the market work like that? It's crazy. This isn't my doing. This is GAN analysis. It's over 100 years old. And it continues to work today and it works even more effectively in cryptocurrency markets because they are young and fresh with fresh blood, fresh minds, uh, young money, and they're not experienced in the game yet. That's why these work even more effectively. So what I want to see with this with Ethereum is, of course, a close above 50% and then consolidation at this level as well before we start our next moves. Some up and downs in here. We just obviously don't want to break down past these lows of 1700. That's kind of obvious in my opinion because, you know, it's support levels. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not saying that in a way that it's blase and everyone should get it, but hopefully these are the first things that you understand. You can see support and resistance levels and, you know, if they start to break down, then what I'm holding as an investment, even though my emotions are attached to it, it's becoming weak. It's becoming very weak. So this is ETH versus BTC. And you can see we've held the line here at around 5.5% of ETH BTC value. And we are now breaking some highs and hopefully getting some higher closes. So this would then breed some more strength into ETH, which would then push it further uh, against its Bitcoin value, which would make it a better investment than Bitcoin. And we can see that it has been a better investment since 2019. Uh, obviously, ebbs and flows as every market has. We are playing with 50% again. It's basically closed almost dead on 50%. And that's of the, uh, the downtrend range that we saw from the high from May to June. So this is still looking pretty good. I think it's still a, a very good investment compared to Bitcoin. And uh, look, if I only had ETH, I'd be also very, very happy with that. Now, the others I have here, how are my major alts doing? ADA, you may have seen it on yesterday's video. ADA BTC is in a downtrend short term. Thanks for someone in the comments bringing that up. They're saying it's, a, it's an uptrend. That's for sure. Major, if we're looking at a monthly chart, it would be. I'm looking at a weekly and we can see that the weekly swings have broken down. So it's in a downtrend at the moment. The main thing I just ask on these altcoins is when I'm looking at the altcoin against Bitcoin or the altcoin against Ethereum. Really, really simple question. Will the market break these levels again? Will it be higher? Sounds really stupid, really basic. Will it be higher than where it currently is? That's it. You know, some people were possibly asking themselves that through here. You know, as it, as it retraced from the high to these levels, down 40% against Bitcoin value, Will ADA ever be higher than this point? And unfortunately, it wasn't. It came out and has found resistance at that level. And that is three and a half years ago now. So will ADA ever be above this current level where it is now, which is now, and I do this with all the cryptocurrencies. You can see it's down about 36%. So there's 40% at around 3,000 Satoshis at the high here. Not too much support over here. But essentially, th this is a period that people were buying ADA again because you can see it bounced and it tried again and tried again and then basically fell from that point. So that's the question I ask. Will it ever be higher than where it currently is? And if you honestly don't believe it would be, then you're better off investing in the other side of the trade. And the other side of the trade here is Bitcoin. One side of the trade is Cardano. The other side is Bitcoin. That's why it's a ADA versus BTC chart. But if I think it's going to be above this current level, then sure, I can buy it here and we go up. 
obviously the lower down we get better return less risk uh, and then we obviously look for support and resistance zones and i've got them laid out here and i've talked about this in more detail in uh, yesterday's ada video so make sure you check that out as well let's go to ada eth because this isn't as clean so ada eth these were great levels to buy all right no 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 awards for that uh and now we're on a downtrend so will ada eth ever break that point or will it ever get back through here because i'm not risking my eth just to make that small of a, a return you know if it only ever comes back up here and then hits that resistance and falls again then I'm probably just not, it's not worth me investing into ADA. I'm better off putting my money into ETH. So if we happen to keep falling down and we get into this beautiful little zone here, then the risk looks pretty low and the reward looks much bigger. That's all it is, risk, reward. So that's what I'm doing when I'm measuring out my portfolio and uh, you know, being honest with myself as an investor. Should I be in this? Should I not? Right now, ADA seems reasonably good. It's had a pretty good run from the lows. You know, it has been hit pretty hard against ETH. ETH's been doing its thing. And maybe this is always just range bound, you know, for the entire history of ADA ETH. Maybe that's all it does. We'll have to wait and see. And if that's the case, then you could be in either or. They're both going up against USD and you're basically diversified between two different smart contracts. So ADA ETH looks all right. ADA USD, cover this extensively. The trend is is up and it's above its 50%. So that's a good sign. This is the next level. We've talked about it, $1.70. And is this still a good play for the next stage of the bull market? I think so because ADA ETH, although it's not the strongest, it's still playing reasonably well against ADA BTC, although it's on a downtrend, but we've got our 50% potential support zone here but i'm liking this as a, a first start to the dca dollar cost averaging in i don't want to be buying them at these levels i don't want to be buying them up here but like i put out in a couple of videos there are times when i'm more interested in starting to purchase back again so ada to, to finish up on the dollar looks good eth pairing not so good just yet but it's on the way down you want to buy lower and then the btc pairing still at its highs it's holding up the 50 percent is still coming it is still holding as support there so cro btc different trend altogether this went up pretty hard and that was in august july and has been down ever since during the bull market itself it pretty much just went in uh, in january from about 180 160 satoshis all the way up to 500 satoshis and now we're just basing out in this zone so it's not a bad thing because as the market tanked it's 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 done its tank already and we're just trying to find whether this is going to be an accumulation or a redistribution before it falls even further. CRO ETH, not such a good play. It's basically back at its lows from February. So this hasn't been such a good play. It broke down from its 50%, you know, it bounced on its 51st, tried and then broke down. But we're getting slightly higher lows. So that's why I look to speculate on other altcoins just in case they can outperform Bitcoin and Ethereum so they're gonna make so I can make some more Bitcoin and ETH in the future. CRO USD also been hit pretty hard from these highs. It's beneath its 50%, not a good thing. It got very close back to its lows from where it basically almost retraced all the way back to where it was. Uh, at the start of the craziness when all of the interest started to come into the market and now we're sort of just beginning to trend higher break through some of these highs it had lower lows that whole period so it's weaker it's much weaker as you can see with ada ada didn't get lower lows and that's just a sign of strength so ada is much stronger than cro look at the lows here they're all higher lows that's a, a strong sign so cro is the worst performer out of these three and that's just being honest with my own portfolio. Even though I like CRO, I love them as a project. Uh, I think they're doing great things, getting their sponsorship across the F1, one of my favorite sports, uh, UFC. You know, they, they're getting their face out there. They're making good products. I like using their products. It's, it's just not showing in the price just yet. That's why I think maybe this is an accumulation. We'll have to wait and see. And we'll know once it breaks through the first set of highs and then the next set of highs, whether that was reaccumulation down at these lows uh, or if it breaks down, then it was a distribution and we just have to face that we were wrong here. 
That doesn't mean the US dollar price won't go up either because BTC can continue up. Let's move on to our last one here and that is FTT. Nice, clean, simple. It, it, this is the ones, these are the ones I love. It got dumped from the, the all-time highs in May. It found its base. It broke past 50%. It broke through the highs and we're coming back to test I would say the underside of these old all-time highs and this level here, probably at around 50, 52 bucks. We're currently at 48. The old high is at around $63. So, you know, it can come up. It can come up and break through. It can come up, test these levels and retreat. It can do anything from here. All I'm saying is that it's showing a lot more strength than CRO. And so that's what I wanted to show with these cryptos, uh, the, the strong, the weak and the in between. ADA at the moment is the in between crypto because FTT is strong against BTC. It's nearly back to its old highs. That's what I want in my portfolio going into the next stage of the bull market because it means it's going to be outperforming Bitcoin, it's going to be outperforming USD, and it could potentially be outperforming ETH. So this is the weakest out of the three uh, pairings. FTT, BTC, beautiful, clean bounce off 50%. Amazing. I love to see that. FTUSD, it broke down on the 50%, but it quickly got back above on some good volume. Big news for FT, uh, FTX exchange. And then the ETH is the weakest out of, the, out of the, the three. It's under its 50%. It's coming back to test the underside of it, just like you would with a 20-week moving average. We're yet to see if, it's com if it can break through that. Now, the other thing I should mention with these cryptos is these could just continue to be range-bound when they are paired against another cryptocurrency, which is also strong. That doesn't concern me so much because it just means I'm holding multiple strong cryptos. And for any reason, you know, if ETH happened to fail at 2.0 and it just completely didn't work, then I've still got my FTT or something else similar, which you think should be paired against Ethereum in terms of strength. Uh, I'm not saying FTT should be paired against ETH I, uh, in terms of projects. I know they're completely different what I'm talking about in terms of returns. You can see that and that's okay. So I'm, I'm cool with that. At least this low is getting higher than this low. That's good. Signs of higher lows and hopefully some higher highs to come. So FTT has been one of the better performers. ETH has been the best. I hope that gives you an idea of how to be honest with your portfolio and go through and uh, rate the performance of your cryptocurrencies and not just hold them blindly. I hope you're making money and you got yourself a plan set out. Just as an example, you can see with Telcoin that came up on the, the video the other week and you can see that now that you can see the difference between like ADA, CRO and FTT, you can see that Telcoin Tether against USD is obviously down but against its BT val BTC value is down pretty heavily under its 50% level. Maybe it's finding a base. We'll see, but this is still in a down range. So Tel was just the example that we've looked at recently on the channel. You can see the difference between a strong market being above its 50% and a weaker market being below it. That doesn't necessarily mean just because it's lower, it has to get to the old all-time high. That doesn't always mean that will happen. You, what I like to do is look for something that's actually strong because if it's strong, it can probably push up higher than something that is weak. And that's just a, a rating of strong, and weaker underneath these levels. So let me know in the comments down below how you go with that perf uh, performance check and if that works for you. Otherwise, if you've got other ideas, let me know in the comments down below. For the Aussies, if you want to get your superannuation into cryptocurrencies, metals, or property, check out New Brighton Capital. There's a link to these guys in the description down below. You can get yourself a free 20-minute consultation to understand whether this is something for you, for your super fund, to start your SMSF and use the referral code Pazino, if you want to get 150 bucks of free credit when you complete your SMSF application with New Brighton Capital. So check that out. Links are all down below. Make sure you've liked the video up if you found some value from it. Subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. I'll see you guys at the next video or on Instagram or Twitter for daily crypto updates. And of course, the Investor Accelerator is on special. Link to that is down below. Check it out before all the specials are gone. See you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.